right guys, Monty coming back at you with some more food prep. Today we're going to make a mango cream dessert. It's summertime, it's allergy season, and it's hot as heck. So let's make a dessert that's nice, creamy, and cool, and easy to consume, and not really heavy, okay? Cool. All right. Um, we got some mangoes. Check them out. They're like just you you look at them wrong and they will uh break open they're so ripe and so the idea is we're going to process those down into a puree and then we will mix just fold that in with some heavy whipping cream or just some regular whipping cream and of course sugar will be added so let's get it going let's try it out and see where it ends up all right all right y'all we're going to wipe off these mangoes real quick you always want to clean your produce. You have no idea where that stuff's been. Ooh, yeah, these things are nice and soft. It's almost weird how soft they are. Use a baking soda and dog mixture. Cuts the oil off and whatever kind of other stuff might be on it. You lose. Yeah, something about mangoes and melons and stuff. They actually carry some really weird... Uh, <laughs> bacterias and funguses on them even the good stuff so the, even the stuff that's just fine but just something about their skin they carry i remember cantaloupe and watermelon i worked at a grocery store in the produce section and i had to um <clears throat> we had to process the melon skins with a uh, special cleaner it was a certain solution and it was the reason we were told was because it had <clears throat> certain uh, bacteria biology on it all right let's just open these guys up I'm just gonna be I'm gonna be surprised with you let's see what they look like all right that looks pretty good okay we can work with that wow there's a lot on there there's a lot on his skin I don't want to give any up so we're gonna be greedy and we're gonna take all of that goodness and we're going to process it down. So let me work this. I'll cut back to you in just a minute. All right, just for kicks, I should uh, process down one of these mango seeds innards. Not like I'm an expert at this. I'm kind of navigating and figuring out on my own. But uh, yeah, it's a real delicate process cutting this, cutting around the seed. But we want to get as much off as we can. So it's already almost pureeing, which it usually does. Oh my gosh, it's so juicy. Here. So juicy. Oh my gosh. A dessert fit for a royal. Well, we'll see. I'm, fine. I'm fairly confident that we'll do a good job. Anyways, so yeah, that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing on the other ones. So I'll just skip ahead. I'll save you some time. All right, I've got a good process. i got a little thing going. Check me out. Pretty much just scraping this thing. I bet those fibers are really good for you. I just can't get them off, though. It's a lot of work. Anyway, so that's pretty much it. Scraping the stuff out, and it's coming out as a puree, so I'm not going to have to do much processing in it at all. We'll get there though, but that's pretty much the idea. Daylight coming, and we want to go home. All right, mangoes prepped or almost prepped. Let's give it a little bit of that. I like these machines. Oh, yeah, these are great. All right, idea is just that. Oh, this is it, too. Oop. Oops. Alright, just like baby food. And it's like, I, kind of, I haven't tried any of these mangoes out, so hopefully it doesn't even taste any good. Are they sweet? Oh yeah, that's just like baby food, even better than baby food, yeah. Wow. Oh yeah. That's going to be good. Alright, let me get this cream set up, I'll be right back. Recipe also called for a little bit of lime juice, 
for a little lemon zest or lime zest in the mango and that will kind of just give it a little more uh, a little more dimension a little more depth instead of just a sweet have a little more tart because these are just mean these this is just all sugar right here there's no tart in it it tastes just like sugar so just a little dash not done with that yet back on my device quick one's over We're going to do the whole thing, and this is one pint of whipping cream. Oh, yeah, there we go. And then all you got to do is whip it up. Then you just take your time and whip it up slowly and that will turn it up. That happens very quick. Going, we're going to eyeball some a little bit of vanilla. And just a slight bit of some uh, sugar. Not much. We want to go take off the bitter bite of that cream. Because there's plenty of sugar in the mango. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's thickening up. Super good. You want peaks. You want peaks in it. Too much and it will break apart again. Right. I think that might be it. Oh yeah, that's what's up. That is what's up. I'm telling you what, boy. Ooh, doggy. All right. Now let's fold them in together point is you fold it you don't rush it okay take your time I don't want to whip this up too much I'm not like an expert y'all so I don't want to whip it up too much Let's see it's a process don't rush the process. Do, 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 do. This is going to be really freaking good, dude. Mm -hmm. I don't even know if I want to whip it up all the way. I kind of like how it is. Like the tie-dye thing going on. Because the whipped cream's really good. And so is the mango. Alright. All the mango has been used up. I promise. Check out the bowl. I used it all over. All right, cool guys. Let's do a little more folding. We fold, fold it, fold. We continue to fold, 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 whatever. We're going all the way. We're full sending it, mixing it. 
fold. Fold. You know what, actually. We're going to lightly mix it. So it's going to have little chunks. I want to freeze this. I want to freeze part of it. So part of it will be like a dessert, a frozen dessert, and one with another part will be refrigerated. All right. Where are we at? Where are we at? Oh yeah. Wow. Tastes just like a cloud. A nice mango cloud. Oh, that's perfect. All right, let me get it set up and uh, we'll wrap this meeting up. All right, so I've opted into taking the majority of it and just put it in the freezer. It will just last longer. So once it freezes up hard, I can split it, cut it up like a cake. And when I'm ready to take one out, I'll take a slice out at a time and then serve it up, let it just do fall for a little bit. So we'll go ahead and put that in here. And then for me, and right now, that's pretty much it. Mm -hmm. Nice, fluffy, light, not, not very sweet. And that's like a that's the best part. Too much sugar and everything nowadays. Anyway, guys, enjoy. I'm gonna relax, kick back in the heat, munch on my mango cream. Y'all make some. You'll definitely appreciate it. I uh, do a raspberry cream. So easy, so simple. Cheers.